Hey guys, I'm telling you straight off the bat, February is gonna be one of the months you can make five, 10,000 easy. What's up YouTube, it's your boy back with another banger, man. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the best shoes to resell in February 2021. This is gonna be the best month to buy far, but January was dry, but you know what I'm saying? February is gonna be kicking it off with some heat, no cap. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys do go down below, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment down below saying what's your favorite shoes from this list. Let's get straight into the video, you feel me? Now to start off this month, we have three drops dropping on February the 4th. Now the first drop is gonna be the Dunk High Ambush Pink, which is gonna be dropping for 180 US dollars. Now these are gonna be very profitable. If you guys did see the black and white colorway that dropped recently, Prices are doing great. Last time I looked at them, they was around five to 600, but prices have been going crazy on those. Now you should expect kind of the same thing for this colorway as well. It's not as well, but as a colorway as the black and white, but it still should be a very, very profitable shoe. Now the next drop on February 4th is gonna be the Dunk Low Coast. Now guys, this shoe has been very, very hype. It's a lot of demand behind this shoe. These shoes are gonna be retailing for 100 US dollars. And like I said, guys, all that demand behind this shoe, but these shoes should be very, very profitable. I see at least, at least 250. 300 on these shoes easy bruh now the third shoe dropping on february 4th is going to be the dunk high football gray dropping for 110 us dollars now these should be profitable as well because they are a dunk and the colorway is pretty nice you know what i'm saying but i will prioritize my focus towards the other two shoes first and then go for this shoe last all right now february 8th we have the jordan 14 clock dropping for 200 us dollars and since this is a clock colorway that's the only reason they're going to be profitable i mean the colorway it's all right let me know what you guys think about this colorway in the comment section i'm not really rocking with it like that i would not wear these shoes but just because it do got that clot on the tongue you know what i'm saying say clot jordan these boys gonna go for a little bag you should be able to make maybe like 150 200 off of these shoes possibly even more I, I, I ain't check market but possibly even more so these shoes should be pretty profitable keep your eyes open for them now on february 10th the air jordan 1 neutral gray is supposed to be dropping and this is cut like a 1985 shoe so it does have that older cut you know what i'm saying the older model of the jordan 1 now these are going to be retailing for 200 dollars instead of the 170 i guess because they use higher quality materials or like because it's cut from 1985 cut i don't know but yeah guys this shoe is supposed to be pretty pretty limited now in the description on the sneakers app it did say that there was going to be 23,000 pairs only made but then they took it out so like nobody really knows how much pairs are going to be made but you can't expect these shoes to be very very limited and very very profitable now on february the 11th we can't expect the dunk low hyper cobalt dropping for a hundred us dollars and like all the dunks dropping this month this should be pretty good profit you know what i'm saying pretty good margins because they do go for a hundred dollars so so i would definitely go for these now the second drop of february 11th is going to be the dunk low orange pearl dropping for a hundred us dollars and just like the other dunks i just discussed these will be very very profitable as well with good good margin now february 12th we will be seeing the air jordan one woman's silver toe dropping for 170 us dollars now i seen this is going to be a full size run so it's not just going to be like women's you know what i'm saying like that adult pairs it's going to be kids college and i think preschool so these shoes should be pretty pretty profitable you know what i'm saying nothing too crazy it should be a good amount of pairs on market so nothing too crazy but you should be able to make some good profit off of these especially if you do stack up on pairs but in my opinion i think this colorway is hard but it do have the black toe the only thing is like i just think to see the metallic silver in, in hand because it kind of looks cheap online in some pictures that I've seen. But in hand, if it looks, you know what I'm saying, if it looks pretty good, bro, these are definitely gonna go for a bag. You can't expect these to go up in the future if they do look good in hand. All right, guys, now on February 13th, the long awaited Carmine 6 is finally gonna be redropping for the fourth time, you feel me? This is gonna be like the original, the original drop, if you say, bro, at least these are like basically just retros of the original, original drop. Now these will be retailing for 200 US dollars. You can't expect pretty good profit out of these shoes you know what i'm saying i expect these to do pretty good pretty good lunch money you could probably make like like maybe 50 to 100 dollars off of each pair maybe 80 50 to 80 dollars off of each pair something like that it's gonna be a good cook if you do stack up on these everybody locally bro but this is gonna be a good local cook you know what i'm saying it's gonna be a lot of people wanting these shoes locally bro so if you do stack up post them on facebook offer up all that don't sell on gold stock eggs because you're not gonna make no money sell them locally and you will make some good money off of these now february 16th we do have the dunk low UNLV dropping for 100 US dollars and the Dunk High Bass Gray dropping for 110 US dollars. Now these will be very 
profitable as well. I like the UNLVs a lot, bro, but I checked market the other day and prices is down crazy, you know what I'm saying? Down terrible, so hopefully prices go back up, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man, since there's so much dunks releasing this month, it's not really like rare to see a dunk releasing. I don't know, man, maybe maybe, maybe people just gotta take their ears for prices to go up, bro. I hope prices do go up, because these UNLVs is some serious, bro. I can't wait to get my hands on a pair. Now, February 17th, we can't expect the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort PSG dropping for 150 US dollars. And these should only just be lunch money. I don't see any demand behind these shoes and the design, in my opinion, is booty. So, I mean, the colorway is pretty nice, but like, I don't know if this it's, it's the cut of this shoe, the materials used, but it's something about this shoe that's just throwing it off for me. I'm not really feeling this shoe. I don't really see these shoes going for too much money, guys, but you know what I'm saying? If you do like these shoes, keep an eye out on them. They should sell out, so don't sleep. Now, dropping on February 20th, we can't expect the Jordan 3 Cool Gray dropping for 190 US dollars. These should only be personals. These shouldn't be anything, anything more than personals, bro. You're not making any money off of these. I'm telling you, bro. Maybe brick flip, but no, nah, bro. I would not even go for these. Nah. The last confirmed drop in February is gonna be the Air Jordan 4 Tote Haze dropping for 200 US dollars. And bro, these boys is clean. And the only thing I don't like about these shoes is like on the toe where it had like that little, the little cracked, cracked material. If y'all seen pictures, bro, that's the only thing I don't like about this shoe. But besides that, I like the colorway. It's a poor man's Travis Scott, you know what I'm saying? Friends and family Jordan 4. These shoes is nice, bro. I'm messing with the brown and the black. But yeah, guys, you can expect decent profit off of these shoes. I don't see this going too crazy. Prices are pretty up right now. I seen them they was at like 500 400 around that range so prices are pretty decent right now but you can't expect price to drop towards you know once we get closer towards the drop you might be able to flip these if you stack them up too all right guys that's it for today's video if you guys did enjoy today's video go down below hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you are new and yeah guys it's me your boy and i'm out